whole situation was really a very interesting, you know, mix of emotions and realizations. You know, all the local people we came together. For the first eight days, we had no support from the government or any official agency, so it was just local people coming together, helping each other out. It's just like if there was a giant fire here, and you guys just said, hey, come sleep on my floor. That's exactly what happened. And so it's people who have been there for seven, eight generations in Lahaina who now have nothing. They lost everything. And it's only due to the kindness of you know, fellow locals that they're able to survive and continue. Um, and then when the officials did come, like, you know, I don't want to talk bad about any organization, but like FEMA, Red Cross, people like that, when they start to come in, they were actually blocking the locals from bringing more support. And they were confiscating our donations and then putting Red Cross on it and then re-administering them as if it was their own. So it was a really interesting uh, time period. And still, right now, you know, everybody is, you know, like Biden gave people $700 <laughs> per person. Mm -hmm. You know, so I just saw that the money was not getting to the people, so I started my own 501c3 and started just raising money on social media and giving it directly to the families, filming videos of the process of like, here, we're just, we just bought this person a car, here, we just paid this person's rent for three months, here, we just bought, you know, these giant tanks of water to supply the whole entire West Maui for the next two months, stuff like that. So it's real dire need, people on the news are not talking about it anymore, everybody's moved on to like the other 10 horrible things happening. You know, but unfortunately, it's still a huge thing. It's still a huge deal in, in Maui. So, um, also, this all this uh, clothing that you see over here, um, this was paintings that were made by those children who survived. So, I was working primarily at this one shelter that had 87 people all living in one place, and all the kids there were kind of like emotionally shutting down. They weren't really expressing their trauma in any type of way, uh, as kids do. You know, so I bought a bunch of art supplies and brought it over. Didn't say anything, I just put them down and they just started painting. And they made these, you know, amazing, amazing, amazing pieces, um, which we then turned into clothing so that we can, you know, spread their art all over the world and help raise money for them to support them. So, cheers. And, man? Yeah. So he calls me yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Yes, two days ago or yesterday? He goes, Do you know anybody who could screen some t shirts <laughs> or sweatshirts? So I was like, um, I do. <laughs> and I go, when do you need them? And I knew when you need them. I was just joking with him. And I was like, he goes, well, there's this company. It's two hours up island, and they're going to charge me double. And he's taking, uh, he's living at my house. That's what, you know, we, we made some arrangement. And so he's up, all, Hawaii's like what, eight hours? Yeah, so he's hours. up, he doesn't sleep. He's on the phone with these people. Sleep. I called the Secretary of State, because Blinken, you know, lives in Georgia. So Anthony Blinken, his cousin, was a friend. So funds weren't getting through to Hawaii. So I was like, quick, Dave, would you talk to your cousin? So then Israel, he went to Israel. Blinken went to Israel. And he's like, I'm going to look at what, I could, what we could do to get the funds allocated, because a lot of the funds are being allocated to the families. So him and him going, you're probably one of the only persons that's seeing the money through, which is really impressive, because I know he's doing it, because I, I, I witnessed it. So then he had these done yesterday, drove up island. You know, they couldn't ship them. He had, some guy made these like yesterday. And I'm like, do you really need all these? He goes, yeah, because when they're direct, they sell. So every, even if you buy it and give it back to these kids, you're gonna be helping all these kids and their families that don't even have toilet paper. And I kind of, I know I'm going a little crazy about this, but it's true, it, this is a real situation. We, we don't have any of this stuff. You know, when our, we get flooded, we freak out. When, you know, if, you know it's like, stop the politics and just, just do something. So anyway. <laughs> Max is going to sing. You know, these funds go directly. I don't get any of it. I don't, you know, I don't have any money anyway. But, it, it, you know, it's like, you know, these funds go directly to, the, to you know. And Will, thank you for this. And, and, and thank everybody in the community. Because, like, you guys, this community is unbelievable. It is. And we could have so much influence in the world. It's like, that's why. I'm, it's, it's, it's amazing how much influence you can have right out of it. This isn't like Connecticut. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, Connecticut, Chad, I'm sorry. Connecticut's great. Yeah. But my point is, this is East Hampton. We're so close to what's going on in the city that this place really has a place. Yeah, this place, in Hawaii, we have a word called Ohana. And Ohana means kind of your family, but also your neighborhood and the people who you know you can count on. And when this all went down in Hawaii, I thought, well, that's my ohana, and I can bring it to carry. I'm going to get my ohana here together to help my ohana there. 
I'm figuring, yeah, if they're going to come through, but I had no idea that it would be this. So, so generous. With so much talent. Just, and I said, listen, we're starting out a little bit at $400. I know we all, none of our work sells for $400, but I don't give a shit. It's $400. We'll get it going, and we're going to make some money. And, uh, and the same way with the talk house. None of the musicians at the talk house got any money. And we had great musicians. And they were all doing it because of their hearts were open by the, by what happened on that way. And I, I know that if if that, that went what went down here went down in Maui, I could depend on my Maui Oana to do the same thing. So we are a global community. Um, it's unfortunate that it, uh, we have to the shit has to go down before we you know realize it and get together. But when the shit does go down, we are we do come together. And when I asked Bill, I just told him about this, would you like to contribute a space, uh, a piece? He goes, not only a piece, I'll give you the space. Huh? It's like, wow. And then with Max, it's just magic happened. Um, and that's that's Maui, right? Magic happens on Maui. It's just like, people say, oh, that's crazy. No, that's the way that things happen in Maui. And they deserve it. They've gone through so much. I get phone calls and I'm in tears at the time hearing. People who made it out, and they went back to check on their neighbors, they didn't make it out. They didn't make it out, they were in the car, and they didn't make it out. So, it's, this, this is gonna help. It's really gonna help, and because of people like Max, it's gonna get to them directly. Not around, they're going this way and back way, and all fun, suddenly they'll get it five months from now. They're gonna get it in, in two weeks. We gather here tonight to all the night because we feel your pain. And like the mighty banyan tree rooted deep in a low vine, you will flower. Brothers and sisters, though it may take years, we will share our ohana, wipe each other's tears. Hi, my name is Max. I'm here from Hawaii. These are all painted by children who survived the fires in Lahaina, Maui. Um, so we have all kinds of designs and all the money that's raised goes back to them. So our brand is called Lahaina Hands. And it's on my shirt. And you can go to lahainahands.com if you'd like to see more. Yeah, so what are our price points? 150 for 150 the for hoodie. hoodies. Um, sweatshirts are 100. T-shirts are 70. So... Uh, all the proceeds are going to the children, and this sweatshirt alone costs seventy-five dollars to produce. Just to make it, yeah, because because it's, it's um, really printed good. all over, so yeah. it's an overall print. Yeah. 
So, you know, and he's financing them, right? And you're a musician when you're, what else are you doing in Hawaii? Yes, um, I mostly sing and songwrite and produce and stuff, and uh, I do some art stuff. And social How'd musical. you make it over here to the Hamptons? Uh, so I was in um, New York Fashion Week doing this. Ah. Somebody had seen my Instagram post, a friend, and invited me to New York to do a whole thing. So what's your Instagram post? It's max.lewis, M-A-X dot L-O-U-I-S. All right, so that's the story, guys. Mm. Mm. 